Okay, I'm back. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Um, it's good to be back. It's great to be back. Thank you. Hey, this is Russell B. This is the 2019 channel update, but also kind of a personal update. It's 2019. 2020 is fast approaching. It's the holidays here in the United States, and it can be a really depressing, saddening time of year. Let's go with saddening. It's less clinical. It can be a very saddening time of year, especially if you've lost people. It's hard not to take an inventory of who all isn't at your family gatherings and all that kind of stuff. And if you're coming off your medications, if you're distancing yourself from psychiatry or the mental health system in general, and a lot of people may be distancing themselves from the healthcare system, whatever you, you feel you need to do for the time being, it can be a very, very difficult time indeed. So I hope you're all hanging in there. I have been off psych drugs for about six and a half years now. I've been off since 2013. It's been like 10 years, I think, 2009, uh, I believe was the last year I saw a psychiatrist. So it's been a long time. This year in particular has been about pushing myself forward and also figuring out how the past, how all those years of being medicated, uh, how all those years of being hopeless and thinking I had no future and other people wondering if I had a future, how to integrate that stuff. And that's been something I've been really wrestling with and struggling with and I don't, you know, I'm still figuring it out. These videos have helped. Talking to people in the comment section has helped. It's helped me get a better idea of what I think and feel about all of this. I've actually not been on YouTube as much lately because I've been doing some work outside of it. And one of those things is I, I ended up working on a film as an editor primarily uh, that ended up in a film festival. That was great. Met Matthew Modine. Always nice. To talk with someone like Matthew Modine about editing was surreal. So that was great. And that's when I really feel like I, I come alive in a way that you know, I don't quite do when I'm talking about something like mental health and all that stuff. Yeah, I feel like I'm not pulling away from this stuff, but yeah, this year I've started to do some things outside of YouTube with video production, and I'm working on a number of things, both video and, and non-video related, but there's just something about video, something that I really enjoy and have a, a kind of passion for. And it's difficult to say that because even now, my passion in general still feels somewhat muted compared to what it used to be. Once I started taking the antipsychotics in particular, they destroyed my passion. They absolutely destroyed it. And not to use the modern internet parlance version of destroyed, like so-and-so destroyed whoever. No, I mean, they, they killed it. They, they killed my passion, my joy, my vitality. You name it, that's what they did. It's been a long road to recovery. The last two or three years have been very difficult because I've been in a transition period where I've been trying to slowly push myself forward, you know, spending a lot of time learning about, there's a light right there, learning about lighting and, and video equipment and, and audio and all this stuff and, and, you know, video editing, spending so much time sitting at my computer, learning how to use the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite and all this stuff not knowing if it would lead anywhere, you know, wondering if it was just a waste of time. Uh, but it was so good for me. It was so healing to, to start doing that stuff. But I've had a lot of dark times, a lot of hard times. I, I can't even, uh, I mean, this is where the frustration comes through because when I started to pursue this stuff, when I started to take video production more seriously, for instance, as I've pursued the things that I know I care about and have always cared about while also feeling so far behind my peers, it's unreal. Feeling like I missed 20 years of, of, of life, you know, because of the medications, especially 10 years on those antipsychotics, but even the years that I was coming off my meds. Feeling like I missed all of that time has been devastating. And it certainly really took me to some dark places for a while. Just the, the, the bittersweet quality that this experience of pursuing what is important to me has had has been, it has been beautiful and it has been devastating. More beautiful than devastating, but it has been a very difficult thing for me to manage at times, especially prior to this year. I feel like I'm, I'm kind of where I should have been when I was in my mid-teens, pursuing what was important to me then. 
So yeah, now that I'm 36, it feels like I lost a lot of my life because of these medications and because of psychiatry and pharma, the pharmaceutical companies. It feels like things were derailed and I don't think there was a, a good reason for it. I think the reason was kind of, uh, Yeah, nauseating. But this year has been a year where I've really advanced. I've, you know, picked things up. I've started moving a little bit faster in the past. I think I was a little too slow, which can be important, but I've started to pick up the pace a little bit and, and try to get on with my life while still remembering the past and still knowing that the past is something that I'm going to work it into my future in a positive way. Whether that involves video production and filmmaking to talk more about this story that's not just my story, but it's your story too. All of you watching this, this is not just my story, it's your story too. And so whether that's using my just amazing production skills, I mean, look at this. I can't, where, where am I at? Oh, there I am. Whatever it is, you know, sky's the limit. So yeah, it's gonna be a good future for all of us. So yeah, that, that's the end of this video. Hopefully, you know, things will be good for you heading into the new year. I really, really wish all of you the best. And, and I know how hard it is. And I know how hopeless it can be. I've been there. I know how hopeless it can be. And I know that the world doesn't stop just because you're coming off your medications. The world does not stop. You're going to be met with hardships. You're going to be met with things that you never would have expected. The loss of, of all kinds of things, jobs, the loss of friends, the loss of everything, family members, you know, permanent losses. I, I know the world does not stand still because you're coming off your medications. So I, I, I hope you're all getting through it. And I really want all of you to hang in there and stick with it. All right. All right. This has been Russell B. And yeah, 2019 channel update, personal update video. I hope all y'all are doing all right. And I'll see you soon, talk to you later. Yeah, all right. Take care. Bye-bye. I rambled a lot in that one. <clears throat> <clears throat> monitor there all right hopefully everything's good there's no telling there's no telling there's no telling